Hi, everyone, and welcome to the free full stack course. My name is Vandon, and I'm a Google developer expert for Flutter and Dart. I'm also very comfortable with Python, Swift, and Rust, and Django. These are some of the technologies that we're going to learn about in this course. Our mission in this course is to learn three very important technologies to cover the entire stack, as a lot of people call it. The first technology and the first programming language is Python. Python is a very broad and general uh, programming language that we're going to learn about in order to be able to create backends with Django. We're also going to learn about Dart and Flutter, uh, Dart being the programming language by Google that is backing the technology that is called Flutter. And Flutter is Google's rich UI uh, framework for creating beautiful applications, not only for mobile devices, but also for the web and desktop. We're also going to have a look at Rust, and Rust being, a again, a very general purpose programming language uh, in order to create a command line utility at the end of this course. I will talk about also about the details of this course and what we're going to develop soon as well. We're going to create a um, an e-commerce solution in here, and um, we're going to create it so that we're going to have some APIs serving our applications. If you're not familiar with APIs, basically there are commands that you can then send to your backend, as um, we call it, that we create using Python and Django, and you get some responses back. So we're not going to create a, a website, but we're going to create all the services required in order to be able to deliver a website. Uh, since Django supports creating websites as well, we're not going to actually use that part of Django. We're going to use Django REST framework in order to create REST APIs that are going to serve our applications created by Flutter and Rust. We're going to have full payment system embedded in, inside our Django application so that the customers of our REST API, which are our Flutter application and the Rust application, which it, which is going to allow those clients to not only add items to a shopping bag, but also allow those users to make real purchases. And we're going to in include Stripe, which is a third-party payment system inside our uh, Django backend. There's a lot to do and lots of things to learn. So. Um, I'm personally very excited, actually, for this journey. And um, I'm really glad that you're uh, taking on this journey together with me. So I mentioned that we're going to use Flutter for the client side. And how that is going to work is that we're going to write an application using Flutter, Google's rich UI framework, in order to be able to deliver uh, an app that works both on iOS and on Android. Now, Flutter supports other platforms as well, such as desktop and also the web. We're, however, in this course, going to focus mainly on the mobile side of Flutter to create an application that runs on both iOS and Android. And we're also going to use Rust, as I mentioned, to create a, a command line utility that works with our backend APIs. And this is really just because we uh, we really want to learn about Rust as well, which is more like a low-level programming language. It's on par with C and C++, and it gives you a lot of freedom as to how you're manipulating your data, for instance. And it is not as high-level as Python and Swift and um, some other, like JavaScript. Uh, so it will give you a lot of freedom in terms of uh, how you work with your data at a lower level. So since I've been asked to create a separate course about Rust, I thought, why not create a full course that covers the entire stack, or it's a full stack course, as you can see in here, that covers not only Python and Flutter, but also Rust. And that's why we have Rust in this course as well. So about the requirements, you don't really need to know so much about programming. I'm assuming that you are, you know, just a little bit enough about programming languages from before to understand concepts such as functions and variables, 
but I don't expect you to be a, um, a full stack developer from before. And I certainly don't expect you to know uh, about Python or Flutter or Rust at all. However, I'm also aware that a lot of you watching this uh, course might already be familiar with one or more of these uh, stacks or more of these languages that uh, we're going to work with in this course. So I'm going to ensure that this course is not only good for people with no or very little experience, but also for those who have some experience from before. So it's going to be a, a, a fine balance. And I try to keep that balance. But sometimes we may have to go through some more details than expected in order to cover the entire spectrum of people who are watching this course. So. Um, I really don't expect you to know so much about Django as well either. So um, we will go through that as well together with Django and Django REST framework. One of the things that I'm really trying to do in this course is to ensure that it is, uh, it is fit for not only people who are on Mac OS, but also people who are on Windows and Linux. So for the first time, I'm going to be also recording material that is specifically targeted for users who are on Windows uh, or people who are on Linux. For Linux, I'm going to use a, a Debian-based uh, Linux uh, distribution. And for Windows, I'm going to be on the latest version, Windows 11. So if you're watching this course and you're, for instance, a Windows user, you may easily then jump over the chapters that are relevant only for Mac OS users. And these chapters that are operating system based, they're usually chapters that have to do with the installation of software. So for instance, if we're installing Rust or Python on Windows in a specific chapter and, on, and you're on a Linux machine, then you can jump over that chapter. But all the chapters that have something to do with learning Python and learning Rust and learning Flutter, they're, they're basically operating system agnostic. So you can watch them regardless of which operating system you're on. About the chapters in this course, I've been very uh, used to creating chapters that are a, a lot longer in length so that they're like 10, 11 hours. However, for this particular course, I've heard you, a lot of you have requested that chapters be a little bit more bite size, a little bit smaller in size and length. So that's what I'm going to do in this course. So I'm going to create bite size chapters. Some of them are just going to be a few minutes and some of them might actually be about an hour or two, but I'm doing my best to separate these chapters logically into much smaller size videos. So they're more digestible. If you want to support my work, it's completely up to you. But the easiest way to do that, if you're watching this course, of course, on uh, YouTube, you may just join my channel. There is a join button at the top of the screen, and you're more than welcome to do that. And um, if you like my content, my courses, please do consider following me on Twitter. As you can see, here's my Twitter handle at the bottom of the screen. And um, if you're not a Twitter fan, you're more than welcome to also follow me on LinkedIn. Or even if you're a Twitter fan and want to follow me on LinkedIn as well, you're more than welcome to. I put uh, a lot of content and actually a lot of time into these two platforms in order to send some tips and tricks every day uh, to my followers. So if you want to, please go ahead and follow me on these platforms as well. So without further ado, let's just get started. 